Uh, so here's just another example. Uh, 3D internal loadings. All right, front is blank, the back is the solution. You can look at either of those. Um, and so I think that the, some of the forces hopefully make sense. It didn't really scan off as well as it did right here, but if we were to cut it at HK, if we were to cut it at HK, do you see that we need a force in the X of negative 150, a force in the Y of zero, a force in the Z of negative 100? All right, keep on passing those around. Um, hopefully I printed off enough. Are there extra, are there extra? All right, so I hope that the force, the internal forces don't, you don't have to think too hard about that. But how about the moments? How about the moments? I'm going to just look at a few of these. I'm just going to look at a few of these. All right, what type of moment does this 300-pound force create about the cut? What type of moment does this 300-pound force create about the cut? So, uh, so if, if this is our beam, we have 300 uh, this way. There's two types of rotation, two types of moments. The first one, look at this. That I'm thinking about is kind of this, this type of rotation about the x axis, right? 300. Its moment arm is man, ten inches. 300. Its moment arm is ten inches. Creates a creates right hand rule. Creates a positive x moment. 300 times a moment arm of ten creates a positive x moment. So if you look at the solution, hopefully in somewhere in that x, we have 300, yeah, times 10. All right, but also, do you see what other type of rotation it creates? It would create this type of rotation, this type of rotation, because it has a moment arm of four plus six. It's just the same, but very different, right? It has a moment arm of four plus six, creating what type of rotation would this be? Um, y rotation. All right. but, but you see how that one force creates this X rotation, but also this Y rotation, and I guess probably a negative Y rotation, okay? Um, that 150 pound force, that 150 pound force that is this way, I think that only creates a Z rotation, maybe a negative Z, um, but it's not in front of or behind, because I think that's the only rotation it creates. Then some of those other forces only create one type of moment. Some forces only create one type of moment if they're only offset in one direction. But a force like that, 300 pounds, might show up in two different places. Force times this moment arm, but also force times this moment arm. Okay? All right, so look at that problem and see if you understand it, see if you can visualize it. If you can't visualize it, you're going to have to figure out a way to mathematics. I don't really teach that. Mathematically, to figure out should it be positive x moment or positive y moment, something like that. Yeah, yeah, because it is, it, it's not offset from the x axis, right? If it was, so the question was, these two forces don't create any x moment. Correct, because they, they don't have any moment arm. Uh, if they were up here, th then yeah, that, that it would bend it over the x-axis. But if it's going straight through uh, the axis, then uh, yeah, it doesn't contribute to the moment. Yes. Okay. Uh, the, the only moment they create would be moment about y. You see how these axes, this is the y. Uh, you, you would not, they would not create a moment about z because they're in the z. 
right? Those are, in, if they're in a certain direction, then they can't create any rotation about that axis. Yeah, so those forces are in the Z direction. They don't create a Z moment. So a force that's in the Z might create a, a, a moment in Y and a moment in X. That's the only possibility, okay? But sometimes it doesn't if it doesn't have, if it's not offset, okay? But good questions, and, and, and make sure you understand those, think about those.